From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Come Report. Randwater has unveiled a new 210 megalitre post-tension concrete reservoir in Benoni in Ekurilendi, deemed to be the largest of its type in South Africa. Natasha Urdendahl tells us more. Construction on the new cylindrical and circular reservoir at the Flakfontein site, as part of Randwater's efforts to augment its water storage, broke down on May 12, 2020, with a completion date of April 21, 2023 expected. It is believed to be the largest reservoir of its type, with the next largest 200 megalitre reservoir in Saudi Arabia. We are going to launch a reservoir that is, is said that this reservoir is post-tensioned concrete reservoir, which is the biggest reservoir in the world with 210 megalitres capacity. The second one is in Saudi Arabia with 200 megalitres. And there is a reservoir that we are launching today is part of our Mapleton booster system, which is part of our augmentation program. It feeds Trani Metro, Ekurleni Metro. It, went, it goes up to Mpumalanga, Kovinimbeki, Bukhtakhanye, Tembisilehani, and also Lisedi Municipality. Considered a design marvel, the newly built reservoir adds to Flakfontein's existing 420 megalitre reservoir, bringing the site's total capacity to 630 megalitres and enabling a 24-hour capacity should there be any pumping challenges or power outages. It is essentially 210 megalitres reservoir, it's phase one. We've got two, this is the third, we're going to have two more in 2028, 2035. I'm sure I'll still be here 2035. Um, this um, is, uh, you know, 210 megalitres of water a day. I was trying to, to explain to someone in layman's language to say it is approximately just under 50 Olympic size swimming pool. 50 of them. Olympic size swimming pool is 50 meter diameter, 25 meter uh, wide, 2.5 meter deep we are feeling we'll have water of about 50 of those olympic size swimming pool so this additional 210 um, storage capacity will give us about 24 hour storage um, in times of need when we don't have enough power or we have high peak demands the new 210 um, reservoir is now and closed um, across the street we have two but the combined capacity of those two is 420 so all in all in total in here you will have um, 630 storage capacity of water a day the construction of the reservoir forms part of rand water's strategies of refurbishing and augmenting water infrastructure with the extensive work carried out by rand water in Kateng and other parts of the country the new Flakfontein Reservoir brings the number of Randwater's reservoirs to 59, with another 13 new reservoirs being built, increasing the agency's capacity by 25% from the current 6,100 megalitres a day to 7,630 megalitres. So in the next five years, we're going to be spending about 25 billion. Most of that um, expenditure will really go into the uh, pipe network because really we are a pipeline business and 3,000 of them. But we also, as you see, uh, what I've circled there is the reservoirs that we also need to build. Reservoirs, ladies and gentlemen, are important because what they do is they, they store water for, excuse the pun, for rainy days. What does that mean for when you have load shedding, when you have peaks and then you can't pump? The water in the reservoir is the water that we give um, the municipalities when we can't do that. So storage is important, reservoir is important. As the chair is indicating, in this system alone, we've been out for about 10, 12 hours, but the DM in the high-lying areas of Tswane got water. Where did that water come from, DM? In our reservoir. So it is important that we augment, not only in terms of pipes, not only in terms of infrastructure, not only in terms of pipelines, but in terms of the reservoirs. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Reports. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.